Hello, blessed be. This is High Priestess Jamila here. And so um, this is a very, very scary, very scary picture of Lilith. But I actually really, really love this photograph of Lilith. Um, I feel like it definitely does capture her dark spiritual essence when, you know, in reality, Lilith is actually very beautiful, all of her many forms. But I wanted to come and talk about Lilith and psychic vampirism and vampirism and then also incubuses and succubuses. Now, this is coming from my perspective and maybe it has something to do with what side of the coin that you are on. First of all, Lilith does have a vampiric form, but that is one aspect of her. Uh, I don't like it when people just say Lilith is a vampire. That's one aspect of her. I do feel that she is mother to vampires, but when it comes to vampires, historically, I believe that they actually have an enjoyment for drinking blood. That is what vampires do. They take in the essence of human beings, but in reality, what I believe the evolution of vampires is this. I believe, and this is just my theory, that the reason why vampires feed off of humans is because humans are comprised of the universe. Human beings are made up of these cells and, uh, you know, atoms and stuff that come from the sun, the moon, the stars. And vampires can actually do the same. So do they have to necessarily feed off of us? Not necessarily. Now, when it comes to psychic vampirism, I think that psychic vampirism is very different from a traditional vampire. So I think a lot of people get that confused. And I think that a lot of people, when it comes to these deities and these demons, they get a lot of their information from the wrong sources. Like, for example, Lilith hurts children. Lilith is coming to snatch children in the night. And she has adamantly denied this to me. And I believe her. Okay. And she's actually very emotional about it as well okay so it truly like the way they depict her if she comes to you in this form which is fine i think that it goes with that saying looks can definitely be deceiving okay there has not been anyone more supportive in my life than lilith she is amazing and she, to me, is more of a witch. Now, let's talk about incubuses and succubuses, okay? First of all, incubuses and succubuses do not just drain you of your energy. I, I, I don't know why people think that and assume that. They can. They can. But here's the thing that I've noticed, and this is from my experience with working with incubuses and succubuses, where they are very useful. And I think that a lot of people don't really understand this, is that when you are out here in this world and you are dealing with people and people and their energy might become attached to you. What an incubus and a succubus does for me is they take that negative energy that I don't need or want. I feel like that is my relationship with them, probably because that's my understanding. But I think that it is a good understanding because I don't believe that these creatures actually are doing what people are accusing them of. I just, I'm sorry. I just don't believe that. And it's never been my experience. Now, if you have, like, if you look at this photograph that I'm showing you right now, this is a, this is a depiction of an incubus. 
And he almost looks like he is praying over this woman and exercising her of bad energies. And I believe that that's exactly what they do. Um, like, for example, if you just have an overload of bad energy or somebody could be projecting their sickness to you or something, you can call on an incubus to take that negative energy from you so that you don't have to transmute it. Think about it. Transmutation, it's easier with alchemy, okay? I will say that uh, the alchemy workings, if you know how to do it, you can transmute energy very quickly, especially when it comes to using fire. But if it's something deep inside of a person, I believe that these beautiful creatures actually save people. They actually stop their torment. In fact, um, I'm probably going to talk more about this in part two, but there was an experience that I had years ago with an incubus and it healed me. So incubuses and succubuses are actually very healing creatures. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with my relationship with these dark entities. Um, I have found that people that are of a more of a religious background, I have found that their energy can be extremely toxic. And then these, and this is a depiction of a succubus, um, they literally come if you call them and they will take that toxic energy off of you if needed, if they are, if they want to, okay? If, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, like, I don't think they just do that for everybody. I think that it depends on your relationship with Lilith as well as your understanding, um, so anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you're on YouTube, you probably can't leave a comment because I shut down comments on YouTube, but if you're on TikTok, definitely leave a comment and like, follow, and share, subscribe, okay? All right, blessings. Bye.